London tongues are wagging across the world of competitive Scrabble. Alan Simmons, one of the game's top billed British players, has been barred from tournaments for three years after an inquiry concluded he had broken the rules of the word game. M. R. Simmons, a former British Scrabble champion who has written several books about the game, was accused of putting a hand with freshly drawn letter tiles back into a bag to draw more favorable tiles. M. R. Simmons has denied wrongdoing. The punishment, imposed by the Association of British Scrabble Players, made headlines in Britain. Yet many organizers of tournaments where affluency with words may spell victory or defeat seemed to tilt toward reticence on Tuesday. For a game played in the glare of open competition, its inner machinations were more opaque. For some unknown reason, I don't think they want it to be public, Len Moyer, a tournament organizer in the English Midlands, said of the accusations against M.R. Simmons, he is such a high-profile player. Nicky Hudson, who is overseeing the Broadstairs Seaside Special in southern England next year, said the ban was not very positive for the game, and that's why most of us don't want to talk about it. When the news of the ban broke on Monday in the Times of London, Ellie Dangoer, a leading figure in the Association of British Scrabble Players, said in a statement that Mr. Simmons had been a huge part of the game's development, adding, there's no one person bigger than the game. The tournament rules require players to show opponents their empty hands before they draw letter tiles from a cloth bag, so that they cannot be accused of dropping unfavorable letters back in. The bag is also supposed to be held at shoulder height, to prevent players from peeking at the tiles. M. R. Simmons, 60, could not be reached for comment on the accusations against him. But he told the Times of London that he had suffered the same untimely bad luck from the bag as anyone else. M. R. Simmons had written a weekly column for the The Times of London, but the newspaper said on Monday that he would no longer be a contributor. The Scrabble Group's inquiry began with a complaint about M.R. Simmons's behavior in the British Masters Tournament last June. The organizers of the 2016 Scottish Masters Tournament then came forward with similar allegations. The natural conclusion had been that he had been cheating, M.R. Dangoer said the inquiry into the complaints against M.R. Simmons ended several weeks ago but news of the ban only recently reached a wider audience. This is not the first cheating scandal in competitive Scrabble. In 2012, at a major tournament in Orlando, Florida, a young man confessed to pocketing blank tiles the game's wild cards in an attempt to cheat. His name was not released because he was under the age of 18. It's easy to poke fun at Scrabble, but people who play it competitively take it very seriously, Stefan Fatsis, author of the book Word Freak, about competitive Scrabble, said at the time. The community prides itself on integrity and honesty and sportsmanship.